It's hard to believe, but there are strategies to make big money from horse racing with no risk at all. I'll prove and explain how it's been done for over two decades because this video is about the most lucrative horse racing betting strategy you'll ever see. Over the next few months, it will make a small group of betting millionaires a fortune during events like Cheltenham Festival, Aintree and Royal Ascot because this happens every day of the week and it's not illegal. The bookies hate it. I'll show you some other examples in a moment, but first I want to show you where, how and why this works so well. For context, you need to understand how information on horse racing is collected and shared. Because when horse betting goes in play, is streamed live or the horse crosses a finish line, data is recorded by third parties which then send it on to large betting corporations like Bet365 and stream it via services like Racing TV. This data is how real-time betting odds are updated and published. Now, for betting exchange users, it's a little bit different in the sense that it's a free market because when you place a bet on Betfair Exchange, for example, you are actually betting against another user. In an attempt to protect the exchange's seeding and make things fairer for recreational users, Betfair and other exchanges temporarily suspend betting and in-play bet placement delays are applied. But like all things in life, it's never ever totally fair, which is why this betting strategy is so lucrative. We're talking about millions of pounds here, and I've personally seen one single account statement that totaled 18 million quid through using this strategy myself with my own two eyes. I had a few beers with the guy as he shared some amusing stories about his experiences, but more on that in just a minute. Because unsurprisingly, betting on something that's already winning or has even won has a crazy upside. When you consider in-play cash outs, it's even more interesting because in order to win big, the event doesn't even have to finish. For those who aren't cash out pros, it's a way of selling your existing bet back to the betting market for its current price. Like if you were buying and selling shares, the final result is irrelevant. You'll see why this is so important in a second, but there are loads of different ways money can be made with the exploit I'm highlighting here. So let's go a little bit deeper on how before I show you a live example. It will make much more sense when you see it this way. The weak spots that are open to exploitation for a clear advantage vary at different horse racing tracks, as you might expect. Camera angles, satellite links, streaming providers, and betting companies all have an impact on the profits. It's been suggested that in the early 2000s, racetrack camera operators were the first to latch onto this, making a fortune in the process. The race course is undoubtedly the biggest factor as events like Cheltenham Festival make it easier to bet thousands of pounds at a time on low margin prices and actually get the bets matched. If you compare that to something like Kempton on the all weather, it's far harder because there's less exchange money to get matched against and well, you know, sports books like Bet365 and William Hill won't even allow punters to win consistently, let alone a decent sized stakes unless you're betting a terrible value, of course. The race types matter too. Just think about it for a second. Which horse race is gonna generate bigger betting volumes and more interest? A six furlong maiden at Kempton on the poly track or the Cheltenham Gold Cup. That roar in the final straight should tell you everything that you need to know. But betting volumes are not the only important factor with this betting strategy. Competition amongst other players can be a problem and the race courses know it. And it gets a little bit darker here because we need to talk about some of the things that the ordinary public don't see. Race courses ruthlessly defend and control their media rights because they know that off course business will pay huge sums for multiple reasons, particularly when it comes to betting. Controlling the streaming data around horse racing is worth mind-boggling amounts of money to the right people, and they want their slice of the money. It's why you might have seen racetracks issuing warnings about the illegal use of drones, or deliberately delaying their on-course TV feeds so that they can't be streamed onwards via phone apps like FaceTime and WhatsApp. But there's good reason for it. Access to instant betting information ahead of televised delays is worth so much that savvy punters are willing to pay upward of £10,000 a day for it. Now, you might have noticed that sometimes in play, the exchange prices are laid out to a thousand to one just before a horse falls at a fence. The reason is simple, as every Betfair exchange page clearly states. You should be aware that this data may be subject to a time delay and or be inaccurate. 
the lengths that some people will go to to beat that two to eight second delay is insane. I once met a guy that was doing it in the early 2000s where some of the stories that he had to tell me were hilarious. One of them involved accessing the race course the night before, hiding in a sleeping bag with a radio for 12 hours and calling the horses early as they came to the final bend ahead of everybody else so that his buddy could place bets off course before those other people. Beating the time delay paid him really well. It's not the only solution though because some in running players can opt for a premium betting position overlooking the home straight with super fast broadband if they pay the course for a very expensive box. I'm informed that in the early days of online betting, there were some races where you could still bet on the exchange eight to 10 seconds after the winner had already crossed the finishing post. But there's more to be in this than the delays on course because punters have been known to use cherry pickers in local bus stops, pay farmers to stand in their neighboring fields with an iPad or purchase high-speed commercial video feeds that are ahead of ordinary streaming services. Unfortunately, I'm told that last one has become less effective several years ago. So let's prove that this is actually happening all the time by seeing the betting strategy in action. Oh, I'm not gonna take you to the racetrack with one of these punters. I'm gonna show you their money going down hard and fast. Take a look at the screen here and you'll see my high speed betting software on the left. It's showing us the betting prices for the top three horses on the Betfair exchange. Each horse has its own column, its prices and available bets are shown in vertical format. Decimal betting prices are down the center and the betting software is showing us live betting market information within 200 milliseconds of it actually happening. Those numbers that you see flashing up are real bets being struck as they happen. Now, bear in mind there is two second bet delay for anyone placing bets in play. So the bets going into the market are actually two seconds after the person clicked their mouse. To highlight two clearly visible examples in one race here, the first one is on Prince Aeschylus in the green and white colors here. Notice how bets fly into the market, forcing the price to contract quickly a split second before we see him jump into the lead ahead on the live stream. Did you see that there? You might want to replay that bit again. Next, the same thing happens as the same balls eventually clears the final fence successfully. Do you see those walls of cash pushing the price down? This high speed betting strategy is a sure thing for those who are betting ahead of delays, but how can the average punter ensure that they beat the odds unlocking a profit every day of the week? The answer's here in this next video, so go check it out now. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.